Man. Guess what's in the bag? Guess what's in the bag? So this is I um this is the unboxing for something in this bag. I went and picked it up. I'm just kidding. I already know what it is. But um this is the last of my free games. Um I pre-ordered Kena. Um, the deluxe edition digitally on the PS5. Um, I actually did that, uh, I believe, day before yesterday, and I got that for free. So this is the last free game that I'll be getting for a while. Um, so I paid absolutely nothing for this. Um, I actually got the collector's edition of this. So I'm... Um, this is a like a like a, a short unboxing because I got to do like the install on the PS5, and the thing about it is, um, I actually um, was gonna get it on like my PC, but you know I decided not to because it'll basically run it'll run with a um, I think the, the maximum requirements. I can't get like a 1070 or nothing like that. I mean, a, a 3080 or anything like that. So um, I'm running two 1070s in SLI. Um, the performance would have been good on this. I probably would have got like over um, from the reviewers that I was that I was watching that already previewed the game, um, and they were running a 3080 on it. They actually got between 110 and 130 frames per second. Um, I think the performance would have been a little bit better on the PC side of it, but um, I decided to go with um, that's my that's my little site. I'm just looking at some stuff. Um, feel free to visit some of my old videos or whatever case and watch them and see how you like them and stuff like that and just you know. If you have like some friends or something like that, I, I got future content that's coming. Um, when I actually find the time, um, I'm gonna be like giving away like free games and um, like gift cards and stuff like that. So that's actually coming in the future. It's gonna be like new releases and stuff like that. So um, the viewers will get a chance to win like some free games. I'm gonna be giving away maybe like $25 gift cards, $50 gift cards. Um, I may be giving away um, like some gaming headsets, uh, they're not going to be like crappy headsets, so it'll be headsets, games, um, at some point I may set up, I may actually, uh, give away a Xbox controller, it's not going to be these controllers, it's going to be like brand new controllers, Xbox or a PlayStation 5 controller, or something like that in the near future, so all of that is like coming, um, so I kind of been kind of busy, so I got like all my my stuff my stuff is almost like set up or whatever the case. And I'm kind of just taking my time. I think the biggest thing right now for me right now is getting like my 3080 Ti. I think that's the biggest thing that I want, and then do some upgrades to this PC right here, um, which is a i6700K with a Maximus. Um, I think it's like a 10 Maximus 10 motherboard, 32 gigabytes of uh, DDDR4, 2400 megahertz, um, with a 1080 uh, EVGA 1080 in there, um, 960 Evo M.2, two terabyte hard drive, 850 power supply. Um, so I'm gonna actually probably gonna um, do some upgrades to this. More than likely, I'm gonna stick with Intel. Uh, I may go AMD. I'm kind of just like 50-50 with that. So I haven't like really like decided or whatever the case what I'm going to actually do with uh, this PC yet. Um, I know I'm going to do an upgrade just like I did with this one. This one is already like CPU, motherboard, and everything is upgraded. The only thing that I'm missing is like the, the 3080 Ti. And I don't know when I'm going to get that. But I'm going to do an unboxing on it when I finally get it. And there's nobody out there like scalping and trying to charge $2,500, $3,000 for a graphics card. So uh, I'm steady waiting to get a 3080 Ti uh, whenever it releases. And um, I can do an unboxing on it and get it installed in here.
this is a beast of a PC, by the way. Um, so back to back to the the unboxing. This is all my my games. Uh, Returnal, Outriders, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Legions, Demon's Souls, Cold War, Spider-Man, Immortal Phoenix, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk, I'm waiting on the, the upgrade for that and for them to patch that out before I even like install it back into my like my PlayStation 5 or whatever the case. Um, still waiting on that. Um, all my stuff, my games, Spider-Man Pro and playstation 4 star wars and my playstation 3 at the bottom you know my headphones and stuff i keep them in the some other stuff and vr i got my xbox new xbox headset right there i got my playstation 5 headset back there got some corsair corsair headset right here and I got a uh, Asus headset right behind that on the same. So this is about four on the table. I got two over here, two over here, two over there. So I, so I got the Xbox, like I said, Xbox. And then look in the back. I got that PlayStation 5 in the back. That headset right there. So I got the X, the Xbox and the PlayStation 5 headset. Um, Got all my setups and stuff like that. Everything set up surround sound tv but um charge station trollers star wars troller this is like one of this is like this and the spider-man controller the uh the the red spider-man controller that came with the pro um these are my two favorite hits favorite controllers um so I keep this in pretty good condition because I love Star Wars. And this is like, this is probably, I love Spider-Man, but that's just a red, a red controller. But this is like my favorite controller. And if you try to find this online, they want like a hundred dollars for this. And it's probably done went up since scalping and stuff like that. So it's probably about a, maybe a hundred and fifty, two hundred dollar controller right now that you can't really find. You probably can find it. Take that back, but they probably want two, three hundred dollars just for this controller. So, um, but anyway, back to the unboxing. Uh, I don't want to make this. I think I'm seven, seven minutes and forty five seconds in. Um, back to the unboxing. Um, whew. Uh, this wasn't supposed to be in there. I got the apple fritter in here and everything. I went to QT and. Got me an apple fritter. Kind of had the munchies. Um, so I got gum in here that don't supposed to be in here. Um, I you guys ready? Whew. Fear you, fear surrounds you. Fight for survival in village filled with unspeakable horrors and. Vicious Creatures, Deluxe Edition. Also includes a Samurai Edge handgun, uh, Mr. Everywhere weapon charm, visual filter, safe room music, save point scan, digital art book, and a and high difficulty unlocked. Uh, Adobe Audio, one player, 30 gigabytes, uh, vibration functionality, trigger effects, and in-game purchases. Speed Tree and the Re Engine. The Re Engine has been used on previous um, Resident Evil because this is what this is. This is Resident Evil 8. Um, the Reverse uh, DLC is coming a little bit later. Uh, that's the multiplayer. Um, that's coming like a little bit later. I think they pushed that back, but you can actually put in the code. Um, or I could be mistaken. It, it could be up right now, but from what I heard, I, I think it's supposed to, it's not even up yet. So this is the deluxe edition of Resident Evil Village. Um, the spine Resident Evil Village deluxe edition, but just wait, just wait. This is the deluxe edition. So I'm going to place this right here on my PlayStation 5. Um, and 
I have one more thing. One more thing. Here, I'm tearing some tape off. Ta da! What you think about that? Cool, right? And it comes with like some DLC. Uh, I think the trauma pack and then something, some other stuff. Uh, I'm assuming it may be in my email. It's like a digital download code. And I think this comes with like some codes, which when I do the unboxing, you guys won't be able to see it. Um, and we're going to do that because I think this is just the case. I don't really think anything is in there because I think I've saw somebody else's unboxing. And I think this is just basically like just like an empty case and the all the DLC and the, the disc is in there. So let's get started. doing this with one hand and my cell phone. Oh, it's got a, like a little texture on it too. Are you guys ready to look at this possibility of an empty box? Because I do believe it's an empty box. And what do you know? It's an empty box. It's an empty box. So this is the back of it. Kind of cool. And that's the front of it. I don't know what that is. This looks like a... Uh, I have no idea what that is. With wings. It looks like a, a baby or something. Or like a... Uh, insect or something. I, I don't know. I had to look at it a little bit closer. Maybe I got to turn it around, but I'm not going to keep staring at it. But this is the case um, that it came with. All right. This right here. Get this stuff out of the way. And next, this is Resident Evil Village, the deluxe edition unboxing. Again, I'm going to do this with one hand. So. I'm going to go get my trusty knife that I usually do. And I try to think about like when I do like my unboxings and stuff like that. And my gigantic knife. It's pretty huge. Yeah, um, I did my um, my PS5 unboxing with that knife, and I love that knife. <laughs> so kind of funny. This has been kind of difficult. Aha! Finally got it. Trying to hold the phone and do this at the same time. But here we go. Finally got it. And again, um, you guys won't be able to see the DLC. Um, because there is a code. I just, this is an unboxing. Um, but more than likely when you watch this and if it, there is a code and it falls out and you guys see it from the video that I'm doing, the little unboxing, uh, more than likely this will be um, entered. So it probably won't be like, you know, worth you guys basically like trying to steal the code or anything like that. So, all right. Pop this open. Ooh, there's the trauma pack. And I think behind here is the reverse pack. Uh, that's the game disc. 
PS5, there'll be audio, ultra, HD, it's got the wing on there. Um, I think that's a bird wing or whatever the case. Um, uh, trauma pack reverse. And I believe that is it. Um... This is it. This is all of it. And I think the Best Buy send me will send me like a code or something like that for the rest of it. Um, you get a lot of DLC for the amount of money that you would pay for this game. But just like I said, I didn't pay like anything for it. Uh, my last two games were free. Uh, just like I said, Kena. Kena Bridge of Spirits and Resident Evil 7 is the last free game that I got. Uh, I actually got Returnal for free too. Um, so I got three games in the span of uh, maybe two, three, maybe two months now um, for free, which is pretty cool. So, all right. Thank you so much for this unboxing. I am about to get this game installed. And between uh, Mother's Day, um, spending time with my wife and my kids and stuff like that, um, at some point um, I'll do a live stream uh, for those who own like a PS4 or something like that. Um, if you want to watch my live stream, um, it's King Mountain 360 on PSN. Um, punch it in and join me for the um, for the gameplay, the video. I would love to see you guys there. Uh, thank you so much for this unboxing and peace.